Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. So today we will present our project entitled Asynchronous Method via Video Recording in CHE 244. This project is under category Innovation Product and under subcategory Innovation in Teaching and Learning. So we are from College of Engineering, UITM Cawangan Johor, Campus Pasir Gudang. So as an introduction, so we already know that we are now in the situation of pandemic COVID-19. So most of the teaching and learning process we need to conduct online or sometimes we call as an open and distance learning ODL. So in UITM Campus Pasir Gudang, we also conducted our teaching and learning by using ODL. So for this project, I will focus on one subject which is Introduction to Chemical Reaction Engineering, CHE 244. So under ODL, normally we have two main methods which is synchronous and asynchronous method. For this project, we will focus on asynchronous method by using video recording. So why we come up with this project? Because of the main problem in ODL for teaching and learning. So in order to conduct ODL in teaching and learning, basically we need internet connection. And if we conduct the synchronous method, we must have higher data usage and compatible device. So basically these two problems can lead to another problem which is mental and emotion problems for both parties which is lecturer and students. So to overcome all these problems, we come up with the solution which is we conducted our teaching and learning by using asynchronous method via video recording. So asynchronous method have many advantages. For example, it just requires lower data usage and it can provide students with readily available materials which is the material is accessible anytime and anywhere. So in our project, we record our video by using FreeCam software. So in our project, we have three main steps. So the first one is pre-lecture time, and then lecture time, and the last one is the post-lecture time. So for pre-lecture time, Normally, our video will be recorded between 8 to 15 minutes based on another studies. And we also add simple exercise in the video to make sure the understanding of the student. During lecture time, the recorded video will be posted to students. In Open and Distance Learning, ODL, the communication is very important. So during lecture time, the lecturers need to communicate with students by using any medium to ensure that the learning process is always running. So for post-lecture time, the communication is also being running between students and lecturer. And we also have reflection from students and feedback from lecturer. Reflection from students include the questions from students if they don't understand the topic. So the lecturer need to give feedback to the students, include to answer their questions and to make sure the students understand the content of the video. So this is the example of the video posted to our students by using FreeCam software. And this is the example of the feedback from the lecturer after the students watch the video. So based on the technique that we already implemented, we can see some good results or impact from the students. So we divide it into two, which is student score and the feedback from student. For the student score, we can see that from this graph, the current semester shows that the students score good grades, which is A plus A and A minus is higher compared to previous semester. So it means that when we implemented the video recording as a part of asynchronous method, the percentage of students score good grades is improved from the previous semester. And we also get some feedback from students. For example, 
This graph shows that majority of students agree that um, the, the content of the video are interesting, agree that the lecturer provides feedback for each assessment. And the last one, they also enjoy the teaching style of the lecturer. Or benefits from this project is firstly, the students felt more comfortable using asynchronous method because they could easily access those offline. And it's also beneficial for shy students. And the asynchronous method also added flexibility for both students and lecturer. And students can always revise back all the online material given. And for the specific free camp software, the benefits is this software has no watermark, no time limitation, and we can use it offline. So it means that we no need the internet connection when we want to use this software. So this is some achievement from our previous project. And this project also have potential commercialization. In future, this project can create a paid online website and also it's easy to access worldwide. So that's all for the presentation. Thank you.